SOE! You're late. Good evening, welcome to Fanfare 2009. Now I gotta say, a lot of you have been here many times with us and, and shared what, what we do here, but I gotta tell you guys, I think we're liking Bally's a lot better than the Hilton. I don't know how you guys feel. They've been really kind to us here and really thanks to our staff here for putting this on and, and we've brought a lot of people here to give you guys a lot of good feedback on the developer panels and to really hear from you, because this is what this is all about, hearing from you and sharing the passion that we all have together for these great games. I really thank you all for coming out, and it, it's really cool to see a lot of the people here year after year. And in fact, in a couple of cases, I've actually seen families here that have I've watched their kids grow up every year at Fanfare. It's really cool to see that. So thank you all for coming and bringing your kids. I've got my family here, my wife and my four kids, and even my mom and dad are over here. So it's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty unique experience for me. So for us at SOE, it isn't just about making these awesome games, because we have a lot of fun doing that. But it's also about giving you a service, and it's about a commitment to you that we're going to provide the best games and the best service that we possibly can. So tonight, we're going to be showing you a lot of new things. You're going to be seeing some new expansion packs for some of your favorite games. And we're going to be sharing with you some things that we haven't in the past. We're going to be talking about that commitment to service that we at SOE have been committed to for over 10 years, but we're, we've been stepping it up a notch very quietly over the last year. So we're going to be talking about that quite a bit too. So, as the first part of that, I'd like to invite up Mr. Brad Wilcox, who's our Executive Director of our Customer Service Group. Now, Brad is not somebody that gets the spotlight a lot, and in fact, he's got the toughest job at SOE. He's, got the, he's the guy that has to run the, the group that answers all of your calls and the in-game petitions. And a lot of you may not know this, but about a year ago, we got rid of the Customer Service Group that we had in India. We felt like we wanted to step it up a notch. Wow, so, sounds like a good call. Um, so I'd like to invite up Brad Wilcox, and he's gonna share some really cool stuff. Thanks, John, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I wanna start out by just saying, if you notice Furione Ve right there with the headphones on, we have two GMs that look just like that. 
Sorry, sorry, Antonio. We have two GMs that look just like that, but actually just one because, well, one of them quit. He said that uh, he wasn't, uh, wasn't appreciated enough. So as, as John mentioned, this last year we've done a renewed focus on customer service. We want to make sure that the customer experience that each and every one of you have extends from the game into when you contact customer service. We've gone through a lot of different policies and procedures and made sure that they make sense, that we're not a burden for you, that you're not getting the typical GM response of it's a known issue or maybe a GM just showing up to do handout punishment with an attitude. Policies have been laxed. It's easier to get name, change, name changes. It's easier to get uh, reimbursals. And the biggest change that we've made is we focused on the knowledge and professionalism of each and every person that you contact. These individuals know the game, they play the game, they talk the game, and as John mentioned, every single one of them is back home in the office of San Diego. <clears throat> Now one of the more interesting things that we do in the customer service department is we all know that we've been plagued by the scourge of the online gaming world, which is uh, the, the plat sellers. Those individuals that exploit the game, that farm, that bought, and that spam. So in January of 2008, we formed a team called Nugget. It stands for the Norathian Underground Gnome Investigation Team. This team works 24 by seven to eliminate all of these individuals that are hacking, that are botting, that are spamming. And across the catalog of games, since January of 2008, we've banned 275,000 accounts. These accounts are not just trial accounts. The majority of these accounts are paying accounts that are involved in all of this fraud that we're trying to get out of the game. Now, I wanted to just talk a little bit about how we do this or how the Nugget team does this, because these individuals are, are, are companies, are organized, and they know what they're doing, and we're trying everything we can to slow them down and get this element out of the game. And what we've discovered is there's four major components to these companies. The first is we have the farmers, or the botters. All of you are very familiar with those. They're in the game to get assets that they can use later on. Now these farmers and botters then transfer the in-game currency and the items to a series of mules. These are accounts or players that they'll trade the, the items to this one and then that one and then that one. And it can go 10, 15, 20 deep. And they're just, their attempt is to hide the transactions or hide the currency and the items so that we're not able to find it and get it out of the game. Next we have a series of players which we call the runners. These runners are the ones that take the items and currencies from the, from the mules and then deliver them to the players. Lastly, your favorite and mine, the spammers. We've all seen the spammers. The Nugget team is working 25, 24 by 7 to eliminate all of these from the game. And I, I need to thank you, our loyal customer base, for all of the reports that you do of these players. It really does help. It may not seem like it at times because you'll, you'll report a spammer and you'll still see them there hours later. But know that this Nugget team is working hard to eliminate these from the game and when you report one of these individuals for spamming, the Nugget team will watch this individual. It'll see what transactions are going on and find other relations to other accounts so that instead of just reporting this one individual and having that banned, we can ban 100 to 200 accounts that are associated with this. Again, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy making the service the best that it can possibly be. And if there's one last thing that I can leave you with, that's just change your password, change it now, change it often. Do not share it with the person you're sitting next to. Do not share it with your guildmate, your brother, boyfriend, girlfriend, not even your mom. Thanks a lot.